hi everyone welcome to a new video today we're going to show you how net cafe works and uh, to set up that you have to have at least two computers to three computers so what you do you install net cafe first on your on your machine there's what they call the server and the client what client software so this is the server software it looks like this uh, it's blinking blinking but don't worry i think i think so you if you have already installed it it's good for you so now we're gonna show you if it's like this you can see all those computers are on you can see there's pc1 pc3 pc6 pc7 pc uh, i want to make them be closer because of this light it shows the camera not to show well okay so all these computers are connected so we're gonna show you how to open one computer how to create account how to give more time things like that so once these computers are connected you can connect you can go to one computer or if somebody is sitting on pc1 you can give him time or you can log it out okay let's put let's give time to pc which is pc3 because there is no one on pc3 so let me go i'm gonna walk there i'm gonna show pc3 is gonna be off then uh then what i'm gonna do i'm gonna let me see where's pc3 where does pc where's pc3 now here i see five six let me walk there it should be closed then when i come back we're gonna give it time then i go back i show you when it's open let me let me go there Yeah, this this is PC3 you can see so what we're gonna do we're gonna give it time from that side then we're gonna show you so in case you want to control that so okay you can just PC3 we're gonna give it time give it maybe I don't know how many 30 minutes okay I so give it time you right click right click and go to time then put in 30 minutes 30 then you say okay so you can go let me say Now you can see this computer is on now, so you can, in case I'm a client, so I'll be able to use this computer here. So I can also click here. This is the software itself, like me as a client, to see what's going on. So you see, one minute has gone, so it's gonna be counting for me up there. When my time finished, then the computer is gonna close up. So this is the client computer. This where well, well, it was a server computer so that's one so i can go to the internet and do whatever so it works on windows 7 8 uh xp and 10 so now i'm gonna go to uh view to take view to to take dot com so it shows view to take dot com let me go there and imagine here I'm using Windows X XP so we're visiting view to take website uh, this is the view to take website uh, you can scroll down and do whatever I want as a as a client so we click on this Okay, you can see now it's two minutes gone so once it's 30 minutes it's gonna close so let me go back we can we're gonna close it out so we're gonna close out pc log out pc3 right click, right -click then you go to close. quick close once you close say okay so you can see it's closed so that's one yeah so what is going on here you can be able also to monitor a pc to see what is somebody is doing in case it's doing something like fraudulent things which you don't want to see in your cafe you can be able to see that that this guy is doing wrong things so we're gonna go to one of the computers then we see what's going on since you're an admin you don't want people to come to your intern cafe and do things which are illegal so let's go to pc 12 
right click monitor and control monitor okay you can see now we can see what the person is doing exactly on that computer you can see and the browsers he opened you see how many how many links he did open the tabs you can see the tabs what he's doing there there's ibrahim which is a person who loves soccer here so if somebody is doing something wrong you can be able to see that okay so now you can see in the corner here uh it shows pieces 12 so we know which pc we're monitoring so uh we can do whatever and we can control we can even cancel his uh tabs whatever he's doing whatever job is doing which is not good we can cancel it okay we're gonna go to another thing now we're gonna show you how to add a user uh Go, go to members you can see that then these are the members then you can see that it gives you a form to add a user then start so start putting cash money how much 60 60 okay put the name of the person then you put in the password okay then you put in the what to confirm the password then you see you save you can see down here you save after when you saved you can see all oh, his his name is there we put in Hilton here and all these are the accounts we have already on the system we can see that we can also delete one account so we're gonna delete that account we deleted it now it's gone you get me so we can also see uh, we can also add time on a on a computer which is already opened you get me so maybe somebody say i'll mend with two minutes so add time there then i'm gonna come now the difference is this one will never allow you to add time when somebody's when the computer is active so easy cafe does that but net cafe doesn't do that so what we're gonna do we can add time on a computer which is already off closed so you right click on that then you set timer then you add maybe one minute add one minute on that then you say okay then once that is done uh, also what you can do you can restart a computer you can turn off all computers you can reboot a computer you understand where you are on your admin uh, what panel you can do everything from where you are so for instance you want to restart a computer maybe it's been slow or you want to shut down the computers maybe you're going or you want someone leaves and you want to save electricity you want to shut down that specific computer so what we're gonna do we're gonna shut down computer pc3 which we've been playing with okay let's go you right click let me say turn off or restart so so it's gonna restart it I'm gonna restart it i'm gonna go there and uh, you can see far away from here it's gonna be shutting down i wonder if you can see i'm gonna go there then i'm coming I'm gonna go there then you can see it's gonna go off and come on uh, you can see it went off so it's gonna come back so it's no it's now restarting you can see it's restarting by itself can see it has restarted so now it's gonna close that so it will need you to have you see now it has closed that's good yeah now guys you've seen so you can use this tool is a uh, free you can download it on the internet uh, but if you want to pay you can use a paid one but this is free so uh, once you shut down the computer you will go manually to switch it on so but for now if you don't want to do that you just restart it but once you turn it off you have to go physically and uh, do what uh do switch on that computer because once you switch it off it simply means you don't have any more control until the computer goes on but if you say restart it's gonna restart then you also 
in the process you're gonna get gain control again so let me close the system uh, let me show you to close the system here but okay you call you cancel here cancel in the corner then you see here I wanna close it I close this so it looks like this here you so you you you, you double click here to switch it on you say yes then it can ask you for the password you put in the password okay once you're done with so it's gonna be picking up all the computers which are connected so what you have to do here once you install it you have to know your what your IP address for this computer so in most cases we we, we recommend you make what they call a static IP address. So once you learn how to do the static IP address, this computer will never change the IP address because the your your client computers you're gonna give them is what the IP address of your computer. So once you give them IP address of your computer, it simply means even if you switch it down, this it will never change. But if you don't use a static computer IP, it simply means whenever you switch off your computer, you're gonna have also to re give those client computers what um some things like uh, uh also the same name so to check your computer yeah you can go here uh the ip and say ip config ip uh, config config something like that Com config uh you can see all of that so you can see the gateway submask and uh ipv6 address you can see all of that so if that is a little bit difficult for you then you can also try to use this network stuff that's when you're gonna see the adapter and all of that uh, let me see sharing settings no uh, that's when we go to details that's when you're gonna see your ip address you can see the ip v4 address here is 192.16 whatever those you get me that's the IP address so this is the address you give to other client computers in the software so that they can be able to communicate with your machine thanks for watching guys don't forget to subscribe you can ask any question you need to ask to then we can maybe if you're looking for specific software we can cover it then we show you how it works thanks for watching see you in the next video